Now guys, if you think you can walk these days in Thailand, especially in Bangkok at daytime, it's impossible. Let me tell you about that along this vlog. Good day everyone, good day from Bangkok and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. So today's vlog is about is it a good time to visit Thailand now? There are some positive facts but there are also some annoying facts that you should know if you are coming to Thailand now. But our first mission will be going to Aso with this scooter and hopefully we can make it. And of course along the way to show you the situation from here to Aso and talk about all the details that you should know if you are coming to Thailand now. So guys, as I said, today's first mission is to go to Aso with the scooter. It covers up around 18 kilometers. It depends on how you are using it. So let's check it if we can make it to Aso with the scooter. And of course, as I said, along the way, we are going to talk about the latest updates from Thailand, the reasons that you should visit now, or maybe you can postpone it because there are some facts you should know if you are coming to Thailand these days, and especially the weather. Now guys, if you are coming to Thailand these days, the first thing that you should know that the weather is super hot. This is the hot season and the weather is so annoying. It's super hot, you can barely walk, talk or breathe at daytime. And if you are wondering till when is the hot season, then it will be till the end of May. After that, June and July will be the rainy season and of course September, the most rainy season. Along the way, as you can see guys, that people are holding umbrellas. It's not raining, but because the weather is super hot. So that's a fact. If you are coming these days to Thailand, the weather is super hot. You can barely breathe. So if you are going out at daytime, it's better to go with a kind of transportation. And after that, to enjoy your time at a mall or maybe a market, a closed market, because if you are going to stay out or explore an outdoor activity, then it will be very hard. Now the second point that I'm going to talk about today is positive, not like the weather, and it's about the entry rules. If you are coming to Thailand these days, it's super easy, all you need is your passport, if visa needed, and that's it. Sometimes they are asking about your accommodation, but not all the time. But guys, take my tip, don't overstay, because these days the immigration is super serious, and you will have problems if you have any entering or overstaying issues. Since we are talking about the entry rules to Thailand, let me tell you that the visa that was really nice, 45 days once you arrive, of course, if you are eligible country to take that visa exemption, nowadays is back to 30 days. So if you are coming from those countries that are eligible for visa exemption, then it's back to 30 days. Another point that I'm going to talk about since we are still at the airport is the entry tax. Still it's off. They are postponing from time to time, but if you are wandering and coming to Thailand, no entry tax. Still this rule is off. Now let's talk about another point before we leave the airport and that is about the international flight and domestic flight. These days you can find lots of promotions. Of course, the prices are not the same like the years before. I've got my ticket from Middle East to Bangkok only for $400. And if you are booking domestic flights, then the prices are so cheap. You can book a ticket two ways only for 1,000 baht. Yes, so if you are coming to Thailand, try to explore as much as you can because the domestic flights are cheap. And of course, you can get some promotions on international flights. Now, if you are wondering, guys, is it a good idea to explore Bangkok with a scooter? As you can see, my voice is shaky because the road is bumpy, although we are walking on the sidewalk. So this is Bangkok. As you can see, too many bumpy things, so you have to stop. You cannot drive in a smooth way. 
Now another information along the way guys that these days after Songkran as you saw last week we have uploaded a vlog about Songkran it was a really nice festival after the COVID the COVID break the Songkran festivals were back to Bangkok it was crazy as you saw in the vlog now it's low season so if you are coming to Thailand now it's low season it's not only hot now it's low season from now till the end of September but there is a huge difference between April May and of course later June July August September April May is the hot season as we talked after May June July August September is cool but it's rainy season and of course September is the most rainiest season along the vlog guys let me ask you since we are trying today to go to Asok with a scooter and hopefully we can make it <laughs> still the batteries are okay so what is the best way to navigate in Bangkok other than walking motorbikes taxis tuk-tuks what is your opinion or what do you think is the best way to roam around in Bangkok As you can see now we are at Prompong. We still got one station to be at Asok and the good news is that still the battery is 80%. If you are wondering about this scooter and if it's a good option to navigate or use it in Bangkok, I'm gonna put the details in my other channel, Arsen Abroad. So I still have one station to be at Asok and as you can see although we are using the scooter but you have to stop lots of places because you cannot drive it but all in all it's better than walking under the heat Here we are guys, now we are next to Asok station. Mission accomplished. We still have 70% from the batteries. And using a scooter these days is not a bad idea. So I have got some stuff to do at Terminal 21 next to Asok Station, one of the famous shopping malls in Asok. After that, I'm gonna show you the situation from Asok till Nana. Let's check together if this days it's crowded or not, although we are in low season. One of the best things these days is to be at the malls in Bangkok. It's super cool, so if you want to take break from this hut, you can visit the malls, do your shopping, eat something, whatever you want to do. After that, you can continue exploring Bangkok. You can see although we are in low season, Lower Sukhumvit is always busy, which is from Asok till Nana. But if you love to explore Bangkok these days, it's better because in high season you can barely walk these places. The most 
most important thing these days is to have a bottle of water with you. Anything you can drink. And if not, there are lots of 7-Elevens. This is Bangkok. If you feel thirsty, dehydrated, don't hesitate. Get a bottle of water. This is with vitamin C, extra profit. So let's continue exploring till Nana Station. After that, we are heading back to Prakanong. As you saw, Sukhumvit is not that much busy these days after Songkran, it's low season. And of course, the heat also, it's another reason for people not to go out at daytime. As a conclusion, guys, this days is hot, it's low season, and those are facts, but some people love it. And of course, the easy entry regulations. It's super easy these days to travel to Thailand. Moreover, the promotional prices of international flights and domestic flights, those are positive points. All in all, if you are coming to Thailand, this is it. The only thing that is a little bit annoying is the weather. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. We're gonna update you, of course, if there is any. See you in another vlog.